Does it feel good for you to see your former teammates either in the Hall of Fame or consistently being nominated as a finalist? Isaac Bruce, Tory Holt now knocking on the door where Orlando Pace, Marshall Falk, and yourself are in? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. And, you know, the hardest part, having gone through the process and having to wait for a few years, is understanding being nominated, as you said, or being a finalist for the Hall of Fame, how special that is. But you get to that point, and it's really all about getting in. And so uh, that is the unfortunate thing as I talk to, to my guys. It's like, man, it's, it's awesome. You're here. You're going to get in at some point. But, again, if you're not a finalist, you go, oh, I appreciate being a part of that list. When you get to be a finalist, then it becomes, man, I want to get in. Now I want to get in. And so you're I, confident Isaac and Tori eventually get in? I believe both of them get in. Yeah, they both have – the body of work, the numbers, uh, you know, all of those things that you're talking about to get in. I know the way they played the game, and I've played with some other greats as well. Um, yeah, they belong in the Hall of Fame. Both of those guys do. I believe this year is Isaac's turn. Uh, um, it's just elder statesman, really did it the right way when he retired. I mean, so many top five things that he had done, um, you know, he stacks up. And, and the, far, the hard part is the farther you go into this, with the way the NFL is played now, they look back at numbers and they go, oh, well, everybody's approaching those numbers. But when Isaac retired, um, you know, he was so good and he had done things that only a couple guys in the history of our league had done. And he's waited too long. And, you know, you get your backups with, you know, T.O. And, and Randy, and I understand all of that. But to me, I believe Isaac gets in this time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if both of them will get in, but um, I believe at some point down the road, Isaac gets in, and then Tory will definitely be in as well. So think about that. You hypothetically would have played with two Hall of Fame wide receivers in St. Louis, a Hall of Fame running back in St. Louis, a Hall of Fame left tackle in St. Louis, and a Hall of Fame wide receiver in Larry Fitzgerald in Arizona. That is an amazing concept for your career. Amazing. Huh? And I could even add a couple more. I played with Edgerman James for a minute when we went to the Super Bowl True. Uh, in Arizona, even though it was later in his career. He's obviously a, a finalist as well. Yep. I believe Anquan Bolden deserves recognition as, as a possible Hall of Famer as well. Um, I know he may not have the biggest numbers, but what he did and impact he had. So, I mean, you're, you're talking about a bunch, and you're exactly right. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Um, you know, getting the opportunity to play with other greats and how it accentuates what you're able to do and just how much fun it is, you know, when you have other great players around you. And I think it can can push you to really reach your full potential where there's other guys that never get the luxury of having those great players around them to see what they can accomplish.